All right, hi everybody. I am here with WNB legend Tamika Catchings, um, and I. My first question for you is just what does what does this honor being on the president's council? What does it mean to you? Uh, I mean, it's it's amazing, and when you think about just myself as little Pepper, even even way before she got a little bit grown, but just thinking about my own journey and how important it was nutritionally to always eat right. Fitness, sports was a big part of just everything that I did every single day. So being able to be a part of the council, being with these amazing people, it's just an honor. And can you tell me a little bit about the work the President's Council does? Well, this is our first meeting today. So we have, uh, from what it sounds like on the agenda, we have a four-hour meeting. So I'm sure there's a lot to do. But really, it's about being able to create equal opportunity for all people. And our foundation, the Catch the Stars Foundation, we focus a lot on underprivileged youth. So this is right in alignment with everything that I'm about, making sure that all people get access, have access to food, have access to places they can go for, for the recreational services and a lot of different things. And piggybacking off of that a little bit, why is it important for kids to be active? Well, I think that's a great question for you to answer, but when you throw it on me, I mean, I think it's really important more so because you have like the quality of life and thinking about the opportunity that we've grown up. You play a lot of different sports. I played a lot of different sports growing up and being able to have those opportunities as you get older, you'll appreciate it, whether you go on and become a professional athlete or just go on just to live a regular life, being able to have that conditioning your body to be active. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Pepper. Okay. You're amazing. All right. That's Hi, everybody. I'm here with Chef Jose Andreas, um, and I'm just curious, what is, uh, what kind of honor is it to be a co-chair for, for this, this council? Well, obviously, it's, it, it's great and it's very cool that you can be serving in, in the council of the president, and especially on something so important as, as health, nutrition, uh, and fitness. Uh, but the important thing here is that we can take the low-hanging fruit of ideas that we can provide to the president so we can keep moving the issues forward that can improve the lives of millions of Americans. That's very cool. If we can be able to achieve anything, um, that will be a dream come true. We, we have a lot of work to do. Today is like a celebration because today we swear in. But I hope we will come up with good ideas that then we can implement in every community, uh, in every city, in every state. Yeah, absolutely. I know you have your first meeting later today after lunch. Um, we right. already had a lot of meetings okay. preparing for the, the swearing in, right? Swearing in and to the first official meeting. Right. The yeah. real work starts now, as you said. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, all right, I know you've done some really amazing work with your organization. Can you just discuss what World Central Kitchen does and how can people support it? Well, over my life since I was very young, I've been able to volunteer in different organizations here in DC, like DC Central Kitchen. Use learning. I'm a cook, I feed a few in my restaurants, but then the same talent could help me to feed the many. I guess all these years of, of learning, uh, allow me with thousands and thousands of chefs and volunteers to see that in emergencies, sometimes food and water was an afterthought, or even if it was not an afterthought, food and water was difficult. But who better than restaurants and cooks and local members of the community after a hurricane or tornado to come together and do something uh, as simple as providing a plate of food. Right. We don't solve big problems, but in difficult moments, at least a plate of food at a time, we send a message. We are here for you. We care for you. Hopefully tomorrow things will be better. In right. essence, that's what World Central Kitchen does. Right. And sometimes that's even more important than solving big problems, is making sure everybody knows they're heard and safe. So that's amazing, everything that you do. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm here with Judy Brown-Clark. Just tell me a little bit about yourself and all the work you do. 
Thank you, Pepper. Thank, first of all, thank you very much for letting me have this opportunity to talk with you. And my role here at this particular meeting is I chair the National Fitness Foundation, which is the, the board that supports the President's uh, Council. And um, my day job, I work in um, education research and health equity, and, um, and I'm a 1984 Olympian, silver medalist in the 400 meter hurdle. All right, thank you for that. It's amazing everything that you do. What does it mean to you to be able to participate in an event like this? It means everything. For me, the way that you make a difference is you do it through policy and communication, um, making sure you include the voices of those that are impacted by the lack of, of support programs and so on. So for me, it's like, how do you make a difference? Is you have to be in the room where decisions are made. Absolutely. I love that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So Hi, everybody. It's Pepper, and I'm here at the President's Council meeting on sports, fitness, and nutrition. I'm here with... Hi, I'm Cheryl Campbell, Assistant Secretary for Administration here at Health and Human Services. And what does that really mean? That means I'm responsible for 90,000 employees here at Health and Human Services. I'm responsible for 70 facilities hosting this, this event here today, and as well responsible for cybersecurity, information technology, acquisitions, and DEIA. Very important to this administration and to what we do here at, um, at HHS. And I'm excited to be here with you, Pepper. I thank you for all the work that you do. That's amazing. And I'm excited to be here with you, too. I'm also here with... Hello, I'm Chef Daniel Thomas, your culinary creator for the world's most powerful appetites. I've had the honor of cooking for five presidential families, uh, chef to the Senate, over 100 foreign heads of state. Um, and I'm excited here because I'm here with the amazing Pepper, who is showing us uh, the dish as she gets ready to talk about sports, fitness, and nutrition, as I'm the chef for the President's Council uh, uh, induction ceremony. Uh, luncheon that we're having here today and i'm just so excited to be with the secretary and also pepper so uh, stay tuned for what she has you mentioned a little bit of what you do in your introduction but tell me what like a regular day-to-day -day schedule looks like for you oh wow that's a great <laughs> great question because i always say the gears shift every hour right i could be talking about union negotiations in one hour the next hour i could be talking about employee engagement the next hour i could be talking about budget and then I can move on to talk about facilities and then cybersecurity, or if there are any cyber breaches, anything associated with information technology. AI is the big thing now. So we're talking about artificial intelligence in conversation. Then it could be talking about acquisitions across government. And what does that mean for us? And then you can move on to diversity, equity, inclusion, accessibility, responsible for going out to many of the minority institutions and bringing that next generation into government service. All right, thank you for that. I'm just so impressed by you, so thank you for joining me. And my question for you is, what does it mean to you to be able to cook um, for so many important people? And also, what is one of your favorite meals to cook? That is another phenomenal question, and even the secretary thinks so as well. Uh, I, it, it's, it's an honor. It's humbling. Um, I had my first taste of it, and just to let all her fans know that's out there, hmm, that... Uh, when I graduated from high school, I actually had a 2.1 GPA. Um, and so I just chose to go to show. And that's because I also had have ADD, ADHD, which is attention deficit hyper disorder or attention deficit disorder. And so I realized that it's not actually something that is hurting you, but it's actually something that helps me. It means I'm thinking so creatively and so fast that I just need to slow it down. So now I'm back in school with a 3.9 GPA and I getting my master's. And so it just goes to show that even though you, it's not where you started, but it's how you continue to go through the process. And so being able to go through the process, I would not be able to be here if I was not able to go through that uh, transition. And so even when I actually, uh, this, this one little funny moment, the school that I'm at now was the school that I got rejected from when I first applied. I went to four different colleges. I gra you know, graduated from the number one college school in the world, the Color Institute of America in New York. And it just goes to show that it was not rejection, it was redirection. And it was just another way of, uh, God saying, hold on. So I just want to let you know that it's okay. So all you all out there, make sure that you focus. Uh, you can live your dreams. I actually have letters in seventh grade about what I wanted to cook for the president of the United States. And I can say I've cooked for five of them. So to also be here with the pepper to rock it out, it's just an honor. And the secretary, uh, it's an honor. So you guys, make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you check in, subscribe to her channel. Make sure you do what you're supposed to do. This is Chef Daniel Thomas. This is also Assistant Secretary for Administration at Health and Human Services. All right, thank you so much for sharing your story. That's awesome. No problem.